Hello everyone, this is by far the cleanest Windows 11 that I have ever tested and Microsoft has released it to the market for the users. Firstly, this is Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC Evolution. You can just go ahead download it directly from the Microsoft website. Even if you don't know, I will guide you later in the video. So, firstly let's go ahead and take a look which type of applications are not available inside these windows. Let me tell you that every application has been removed in this version of the windows except for the Microsoft Edge. So let's go ahead and take a look at the start menu and most of the application that you are seeing here I have installed them manually. So for instance you can see only accessibility is available here followed by that there is the calculator. This, this is the old calculator system. As you can see this is the version that is available with this version of the windows. However I have installed the latest version as you can see. Following by that it applies the same for the notepad and as you can see the get started also is installed newly following by this application and then the these two uh, recording application also photos application video recording uh, player application none of them are available and this as you can see this is driver of my audio in this system same goes for the sniping tool now the older version of the sniping tool is available here as you can see i have also installed the latest version of the sniping tool so by now you have gotten the idea that there is no microsoft store there is no widget following by that there is no copilot at all if you do not believe me just go ahead right click on the start menu sorry on the taskbar and go to the taskbar settings you will notice there there is no such thing at all and as you can see the other applications that are available here i have pinned them myself so this is quite a clean version of the windows 11 that microsoft has done also let me tell you that in this version of the windows there is no windows security i mean the application is not available so however the privacy and security if you go through the windows security application uh, inside the settings app you will notice that the security is still there now if you try to install uh, any correct application it's going to directly detect that and it's going to delete that following by that even if you go ahead click on open windows security it's going to give you this error we can't open this windows defender link your device needs a new app to open this link so it is pretty much secure now if you want to bring changes into this part of the security and the other details you have to go to apply uh, bring changes from the group policy or the registry error this is pretty much simple and by the way during the installation process you will notice that uh, it is not letting you sign in or continue without uh, using uh, a work account since enterprise is mostly, um, mostly set up for the businesses so without that it's not going to work so the alternative solution for that is using rufus and then uh, rufus has the ability that is providing you the option to simply bypass the microsoft account and then uh, it is also going to provide you the option to have no internet connection since once it is not connected to the internet you will not face any issue at all i will uh, guide you later in the video but firstly let's go ahead and take a look uh, at how uh, or where you can download these version of the windows so to download it you have to go to the uh, open your favorite browser and search for the windows 11 ltsc and then enter on the keyboard So as you can see these are the current details and following by that uh, there is uh, for this version of the windows microsoft has also decreased the uh, hardware requirements um, as you can let me let, let's just wait and as you can see these are the system requirements for this version of the windows and it is actually quite handy so as you can see the minimum uh, minimum requirements will be one gigahertz with uh, or the two cores on the, the two, two gb of ram 16 gb of hard drive and then any of these version of the storage is going to do the job even the older version of the bios is going to work the tpm is optional the secure board is optional and then the direct x 10 or if it does not even have it's also going to work and then the display even uh, hd is not recommended it is optional or you can simply use the custom size for it so it is quite handy now to download it you have to just simply click download windows 11 iot enterprise 
Now it is available in two edition of the ARM as you can see and it is available for the uh, x64 or x86 architecture that normal computers are using. Just simply click on that and it's going to start downloading for you inside your computer. Okay, once you have downloaded that, for now I'm going to cancel that, you have to go ahead and uh, inside the rufus.ie and you have to also download the version of the windows i'm really sorry that, that portable version of the rufus once it is downloaded just simply save that attach your usb flash drive to the computer Okay, as you can see, it has now been added here. Okay, go ahead and launch the Rufus. From here, you have to go ahead and select the ISO of the Windows 11 that you have downloaded. Uh, in my case, I think I have pro I'll moved that inside this directory. As you can see, this is the ISO 2600. Uh, so uh, from here you have to go ahead with the default option even the file system you can use uh, in uh, fair 32 that really does not matter however click on start it's going to give you this windows user experience from here you have to if your pc has not uh, 4 gb of ram uh, you can just simply select this one it's going to remove the requirement of the ram secure board and then the tpm mm. Uh, however, if you do not want to use any Microsoft account, make sure that you select this option, remove requirement for an online Microsoft account. Because if you do not select it, uh, during the installation process, you will have a chaos on yourself. Aside from that, uh, you can also disable the data collection or you can say the privacy settings. And finally, disable BitLocker automation, automatic device encryption. Now. This is a new setting that Microsoft has built into the new version of the Windows, which is quite bad. Now, by default, it's going to use BitLocker to simply lock your file system and sometimes uh, it makes your computer really slow. So that's why for that very reason, I really do not, uh, am, I am not really interested in these BitLocker. All you have to do is just simply click OK and it's going to start copying all of the files from the ISO inside the computer, inside the USB flash drive. After that, you have to go ahead and perform a clean installation inside your computer. Once it is done, voila, you are here inside the Windows 11. Okay. Once you have installed it inside your computer, you will notice that there is no Photos application. There is no Video Player application. So, Video Player, there are alternatively many applications. For instance, there is the VLC, there is the uh, Media Encoder, and then there are any uh, many more open source applications. However, uh, if you have to look for the uh, photos application you have to download that from the Microsoft Store which unfortunately is not available here so as you can see these are the setups that I have downloaded from the Microsoft Store and then I have installed it inside my computer and based on that as you can see I have those uh, apps inside this computer okay if you want to download them you have to just simply go ahead uh, and search for for instance uh, Windows Photos Windows photos yeah, or photo uh, app just simply search for that as you can see it's going to uh, bring the Microsoft Store now all you have to do is just simply go ahead open this very same page and from here uh, you can see there is the download button all you have to do is just simply click on download it's going to download the setup inside your computer or it's going to at least give you the option to download it inside your desired location so as you can see just like that once it is downloaded all you have to do is just double click on the setup it's going to uh, start installing the software inside your computer so as you can see i think i have uh, a screenshot of that let me show you yeah as you can see it is like that all you have to do is just double click on the setup and then it's going to start installing the application inside your computer it is as simple as that oh and by the way this uh, version of, or as you can say, the Windows 11 Enterprise uh, evolution is uh, for companies. And as you can see in the bottom, is written that 
uh, Windows license valid for 90 days. So basically, Microsoft is creating this type of version or this type of Windows for the company so that companies should test it. And if they are satisfied, they can, they can just simply go ahead and buy this version of the Windows. However, if you want to use it for a personal use, you can always or you can always simply once the license is around expiration, you can just simply there is a code in the CMD that you can just simply run that and then it's going to revert the license back to the zero days or the one days. This is as simple as that. So this is by default the cleanest Windows 11 I have ever used. Uh, even if you go ahead and take a look at the task manager and all the processes, it is a lot more simple compared to the rest of the Windows that I have mostly used. Now, as you can see, uh, anti malware surface executable. This is because of the applications or the crack application that we use on a daily basis i also use that however as you can see i am not using any of them including the obs studio that is an open source right now however photoshop we are using that crack version office and then the other uh, adobe softwares we are are all are using the crack version that's why when i simply try to extract them and then try to install them Windows Defender directly deleted them inside your computer. So even if I have to go to the look inside the Windows settings, so sorry, Windows Update, go to the Update History, you'll notice that uh, other than the driver updates, you can see uh, these are the definition security updates as you can see there's also another security updates as you can see malicious removal and then there's also the quality uh, required version of the windows that are provided here so it is really a quite a simplified version of the windows that microsoft has provided for everyone and you can just simply go ahead download it and then have experience of it and then let me know your thoughts in the comment section i hope that you have learned something from this video for now have a nice day goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video